First up, we'll go to Kristen Chilton, TSN. Go ahead, Kristen. Hey, Austin. Uh, what's been the key here for the group, just staying focused when you have uh, a bit of a longer layoff between the end of the regular season and the start of playoffs? Um, I mean, I think it's uh, it's pretty simple and easy. I think guys are taking this time to obviously uh, get ready and, um, you know, prepare and, you know, whether you've got some bumps or bruises, just kind of taking care of uh, whatever your body needs and obviously getting some really good practice in. So, um, you know, these last two days have been uh, pretty solid days for us as a group. And I think we just want to continue that and leading up to Thursday. Next up, we'll go to Terry Koshan, Toronto Sun. Go ahead, Terry. Hey, good afternoon, Austin. Uh, yourself personally, do you, uh, the season you've had, just, you just finished having, um, how much of a motivation of, is that for you to uh, do well in these playoffs? And then how much do you use past uh, uh, the, the team failing to get past the first round of the playoffs and motivation as well? Is it a little bit of both, one more or the other, or, or do either of those things matter to you now? Um, I mean, I don't think it, uh, you know, as a team and, you know, as individuals, I don't think they're, um, there should be plenty to be motivated about, obviously. Um, you know, we'd like to, uh, we'd like to obviously uh, play a long time here uh, in the spring and the summer. Um, so we're obviously focused on Montreal here, but I think everybody in this room is uh, extremely motivated and um, you know, really excited to get going. Next up, we'll go to Josh Clipperton, Canadian Press. Go ahead, Josh. Hey, Austin, you all know that these teams haven't met in the playoffs in 42 years. How would you, what have you learned about the rivalry in your time in Toronto? And how would you kind of describe it to maybe a friend or a family member back home that might not really, really get this rivalry? Um, I don't know. I think it's kind of hard to explain. Um, I don't know, it's kind of like the Red Sox, Yankees, I guess, in a way, just, um, you know, two uh, fan bases, two organizations with uh, a lot of uh, rich history in the, in this league over the last uh you know, 100 plus years. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty incredible. It's obviously been a long time since uh, these two teams met. And um, yeah, I mean, I think it's, uh, it's definitely going to be a really, really good series. It's going to be tight and a lot, uh, not a lot of space out there. And uh, I mean, it's going to be playoff hockey. Next up, we'll go to Mark Masters, TSN. Go ahead, Mark. Austin, how would you describe the challenge presented by that Dino Gallagher line if, when you're up against them? Yeah, they, uh, they're solid. They're, um, you know, as a line, both players, they, they play really well in, in all three zones and, uh, you know, they make it difficult. Um, you know, they don't really turn pokes over. They work extremely hard. So uh, you got to make sure that you're in good positions all over the ice and, and make sure you're aware of uh, who you're out there with and, um, you know, and not get caught uh, puck washing. We'll take three more here. We'll go to Marty Klinkenberg with the Golden Mail. Go ahead, Marty. Hi, Austin. I'm wondering, you know, I'm guessing that probably these last two days that you uh, or the previous two days that, you, you know, that you probably watched some of the games. And I'm wondering, you know, what you thought of the, the first couple couple days of games. They seem to be, you know, you had a bunch of overtime games. That it, you know, did you find it kind of fun and interesting? I did find it really fun and interesting. Um you know, some pretty exciting games, um, you know, all throughout the, the last couple of days. So it's been, uh, it's been fun to watch. I think it kind of gets, uh, you know, kind of gets you anxious to kind of get going. Um, you know, it's Monday and we still got three, four more days until we're playing. So, um, you know, I, I don't mind watching, but I think sometimes uh, when you're watching, you really just want to be out there and, um, you know, kind of sucks in around, but uh, use these next couple of days to get ready and uh, you know watch some more hockey. Uh, there's nothing really much else to do. So, and last two here, we'll go to Alexis Champagne with the Canadian Press. Go ahead, Alexis. Thank you. Hi, Austin. Uh, Montreal has a defensive core that's kind of heavy. What's the biggest challenge for your team to generate offense against that group uh, during the playoff? I think we need to move our feet and, and shoot the puck and uh, try to get to the net. I think those uh, those things are going to be really important. They, like you said, they're pretty big, and uh, you know they like to you know, be physical and keep you away from the net. So we got to make sure that uh, you know we're battling for for positioning and, and getting there and make it hard on their goalie. And last one here, we'll go to Jean Francois with the Montreal Journal. Go ahead, Jean Francois. Hi, Austin. Uh, the past four seasons, you've not been able to, to win a playoff round with the Leafs. But what have you learned from those experiences, even though it was with with a defeat instead of a win? I think you just learn a lot. Um, you learn about how hard it is to, to obviously win in playoffs and 
um, you know, how much different it is, you know, from regular season to, to the postseason. So, like I said before, I think everybody in this locker room is extremely motivated, um, you know, whether it's from past defeats, um, you know, whether it's from last year, just, you know, disappointments over the last couple of years, I think, um, you know, there should be no shortage of guys in this room that are extremely motivated to obviously make a difference and, uh, you know, fight through it. Thanks, Austin. Thank you.